Hey everyone, welcome back to another Warden Mobile Gaming episode. So today's episode, I'm going to bring you the new games for July 2021 because actually in the first half of 2021, we have experienced good games and I think it will start to pick up in the latter part of this year. New games for July will be in the order of the date of release and also I'm going to give credits to Milk Gaming for sharing this info with me. All right, guys, so what we have here first is The Legend of Neverland. So this game was actually released July 1st. This is an MMORPG fantasy courtesy of Game Arc Global and released for Southeast Asia. So as you can see, the game is available through um, the, Go the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Okay, as you can see, the game has good graphics. This is, again, I think just part of their intro video. Um, I don't think this is part of a cutscene. Let's actually move forward for this video. A um, little bit of a gameplay for the game. And again, I think this game has good graphics. Um, pretty much very, very good design as well. And this is... Um, when you play this game, I think this will be quite familiar to you in terms of feel, in terms of the environment. So again, this game is worth checking out for July 2021. Okay, so this game is actually open world RPG, which, which has a gotcha system in place. Multiple class of characters, as you can see here below, I'll take... Uh, you to the multitude of characters that they have they have craftsmen they have scholar they have swordsman and they have a ranger uh, this game also offers a lot of character customization um, and it's a very good mmo rpg to explore good game and good character design and reminds me of mo more or less the old fi final fantasy games that we had before so as you can see, they also have kind of a flower fairy special partner, which you can actually have a choice on who to carry. So you have here uh, Lilium, you have here Anthorium. These are basically flowers that were named after these flower fairies. So you also have balloon flowers. So again, this game is worth checking out if you like these types of games and also if you're into these types of graphics okay guys next on our list is atelier online release date is on july 8th which is i think a few days from now this is an adventure rpg courtesy of bolt shred games and this is a global launch so you can download the game through uh, apple app store or the google play store I think this game is still open for pre for pre-registration so you have to make sure that you do your pre-registration uh before july 8th as you can see here uh there there, there is actually a built-in gotcha system to the game multiplayer team up with friends and character customization so again this is part of the atelier series um again play as your favorite characters um sample of this gameplay and more or less for those who are fans of this uh, ip this is actually a new release and more or less character again customization map exploration and you name it so more or less this game has a good following already and if you are new to this game i recommend that you check this out okay another game on our list is how to world release is going to be on july 13 it's a turn-based tactical rpg and it's brought to us by gaia mobile and this is guys for a global launch so you can download the game through um, um google play store or the apple app store as well so as you can see here i am actually enjoying the the design for this game this actually this game actually has a alchemy stars feel tile based gameplay and tile based heals attack exploration with open world map and ui is actually very clean and uh, easy to use as well so unique ui 
character customization is also available and i really like the again the game um the design the animations and let's check out their pre-registration so right now for pre-registration they have 152 902 pre-registration so again we have to check out the the rewards for free registration so this is actually a um, very good bunch of items or rewards that you receive for pre-registration pre and you can also actually invite friends for more rewards so take note of this guys again this game is actually worth playing try to check this out once the game releases on july 13th okay guys so what we have here is punishing gray raven release of this game will be on july 16th both for apple or for ios and the app store and also for google play this is an action rpg and this is courtesy of kuro technology and also this is a global release so again guys for this game this is there is a gacha system involved comparable to this is actually comparable to honkai impact and one of the most anticipated games of the year clean and detailed character design and superb animation so more or less i've seen this game um already being featured and this actually is a is a welcome addition to this year's games particularly to the second half of 2021 and more or less again i would you know i would play this myself and more or less i would try to give reviews on this game okay so pre-registration is still open and we have 411,871 who, who have pre-registered already so again you will be receiving free s rank characters for the game which is actually crazy so you can select from the following for your s rank characters so you have uh, live luminance you have here karen karenina so she's ember and you have nanani which is pulse you have lee which is entropy kamoi which is tenebrion and more or less those are the five characters that you can select for your free s rank characters um the most recommended would be karenina to select but again it's up to you guys on who you are you going to select as your free character let's take a look at what she can do again very clean design guys very nice characters very clean animations and again this is going to be a good game for the year so to round out our pre-registration here are we are getting so far so we are at 400,011 so we are 300,000 over we're nearing 500,000 which you will get a very good skin for Lucia Lotus coating daybreak which I think looks very cool so I would encourage you guys to pre-register for the game. If you find this game interesting, please do play it. And also I'll be covering this game once it launches on July 16th. Okay, so next on our games is Near Reincarnation. This game is actually third in the game in the series of Near games. Okay, so for this um for this Near um version or this game this has a built-in gacha system very good graphics similar to a sepia photo and again the detail very very good this game is actually going to be released in july 28th it's a turn-based rpg and this is courtesy of square enix and this is a global launch so for those of you who are not familiar with square enix so more or less if you're again familiar with Final Fantasy, they put out those games, which I used to play. And again, um, any any um, game that Square Enix has put out usually has been very, very good. Let's take a look at their pre-registration. The pre-registration promo, um, more or less, we have here lots of rewards. Um, these are rewards for gems, depending on the number of users that have pre-registered for the game. The, the, the most users would be 600,000, which are a lot of rewards. So additional rewards, 
uh, gems. Um, I'm not sure what this is. So 3,015 and material packs. So that's 4,500 gems. This game is basically um, built on a great story mode. And the game has a bunch of um, ex map explorations, puzzles, and very laid out story quests and side quests as well. So if you're into story games, and I suggest you try to check out um, Near Reincarnation, and I think this would be the game for you. Okay, so last on the list of our games for July would be Pokemon Unite. So the release would be on Nintendo Switch on July, but this game will be released on mobile devices in September, which I will also be covering once the game launches on mobile devices. So this is a strategy team battle game, also called a MOBA so multiplayer online battle arena so tencent game and team studios is actually the developer for this game and in terms of uh, in terms of gameplay this game is actually very similar to the mobas that we have out there this game has actually has a different objective and it is to score so level up your pokemon during the game and there are three goals per map okay most number of goals after a time period wins but this game is very nostalgic especially for those for those who have been playing pokemon um cards way back then up to pokemon go so again this game will really appeal to a lot of um uh, a lot of fans of pokemon this is a good idea for a team battle strategy in which you have five um, Pokemon in the battle so we have um, you in, in your team you'll be having five um, people playing with you real time real battles and scoring as well so again if you check out their website so you can view um, the various Pokemons that you'll be using in this game so some you might might be familiar some some would be actually new to you as Pokemons so more or less you can check their website out and Probably if you're a mobile user, wait for the release on September. But if you have Nintendo Switch, you can already play this game in July. We don't have a definite release date yet, but I'm, I guess they will be releasing this one soon. Okay, so more or less, guys, that ends my um, top games for July or new games for July. So if you've stayed this far in this video, please consider subscribing. Also, click the bell icon and if you find this video helpful please put a like Any, anyway guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here